we suggested, basically asked us to go back and, and review the charter, like we, like we were supposed to do as their comments. We are basically following what the public has voted and told us to do, which we said up front we would do. So I don't see any, I, I disagree with your comment because the public has told us to go back and do what we're planning to do. Yeah, it's okay for us to disagree. Absolutely. That's <laughs> my first comment was it's okay to agree to disagree. But you need to have faith that we will come back and, and present something that's reasonable that the town is going to, basically this information is going to be what the town tells us they want to do. And if this I, is extra. Thank you, Madam Chair. I was going to say, and if I may also um, bring us back to April 6th, there was a question on the ballot. And the question was, is this form of government is this government working in the best interest of the people? And overwhelmingly, or by a good 10% margin, or a little more than that, people said no. So I think that whether you know you think that it, 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 we should close them off, or we should look at the people in this town have said this form of government, this system right now, it's broke. Now, 132 people at town meeting said we don't care, we like you broke. And that's fine. Town meeting ruled on that. So, but I think that this group of people are, is obligated to go back and respond to the 22 or 2,400 people that said this form of government doesn't work right now. And I think to try to deny that or to say it doesn't work, you've already done one thing. How many times have you done something and didn't work out the way that you wanted it. Do you just give up? Do you curl up in a ball? No. You go and you try a different approach. You try to accomplish something else. It may not be your dream thing, but if it serves the people, which is what everyone that comes on a board committee or commission is there to do, then I think then that's what they should do. And so I hope you all stay. I hope you all work on it. And I hope you take my suggestion as to get there as quick as possible. Mr. Holmes? Since, uh, Madam Chairperson, since I asked the question of clarification in the beginning. It's all you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that it was going to open, so I was just asking a simple question. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that, again, I use the word tweak. You can use the word, you know. Continuous process jackhammer improvement. Jackhammer or continuous <laughs> process improvement or whatever you'd like to call it. I, I believe that the initial... Uh, job is still to be done, and that is to review the charter. And we have past president that says that these committees have come back several times, and I don't have an issue with that, um, because I believe that just to let it die at this point, um, it Wait is not right, years. because we have issues that we need to deal with. Uh, it, Mr. Slavin, who's the chairman of the committee, said um, that um, how do you how do you gauge the outcome of the ballot question? Well, I don't think it was that big a margin, and his answer was 80-20 would make you feel good, or 75-25. We didn't even get anywhere near close to that, right? So I, I don't think that people are looking for a mayor. I mean, I got that loud and clear. We all got that loud and clear. And, but they are looking for some changes to this document, and... Quite frankly, most of the people I talk to don't want to wait another 10 years mm -hmm. for a group to sit down. And, you know, there's, there are a lot of issues, and, and I'd be happy to sit down and share mine with the group. My only question, and it goes not to anyone's integrity, is in that group of people that served on the Charter Commission, some of them were very forceful about their opinions about having a mayor. And I have no fault with that either. But now is, are those same people going to sit and say, <clears throat> all right, I'm willing to move off of that? Mm -hmm. And have you polled the group, and that was my question to you, have you polled the group to say, hey, do you want to continue this where you're stuck on the mayor and you can't get off of that? Some people are that way, and they're just stubborn, right? Yeah. I know I'm kind of that way sometimes. Well, as I said, and so you give them an opportunity to stay on board or, or move on. Yeah. I mean, and that's again, all I was asking. The answer was yes, as I stated. Yeah. And, and I accepted your answer, Mr. And if Mr. you remember, I think I, came before the, I think I came before the board and there was a question about the committee. I can't remember. It was just before we were going to meet. And right. I said, we'll have a meeting on Thursday, and I'll get back and let you know if there's any changes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Thank you. Well, I, I don't Thank see you. that there's um, any need for the board to take any specific action on 
this other than to tell you to continue with your charge. And um, if I may, Madam Chair. We do have a, oh, I'm sorry. We do have a, a liaison, right? We have I, a liaison. We do or do not? We do. It's not, on, that. It's not on the list. Special, yeah, because it's a special it's committee. It's a special committee. In November. Right. However, comma, I will repeat my comments from last week. Any member from this board is welcome to attend any committee meeting or board meeting at any time. So um, we're, we're all in effect able to be liaisons at different times and I would fully expect and hope that everybody on this board would um, cooperate fully with the Charter Review Commission and give input and feedback as, as you see fit based on your review of the Charter and any problems that you see with it. It would and be I, very I difficult for us to act on anything if, they, if people don't give us their feedback. Yeah. Right. So if people withhold their information that they want to provide to this review, then they don't have anybody to blame but themselves if it doesn't get uh, incorporated. Very good point, Dr. Jones. I appreciate that. Um, Madam Chair? Yes, Mr. Just quick, Andrews. Thank you. Through you to the um, committee. If we could just get an electronic format so that when department heads go to fill this out, it's done efficiently and effectively so that we can maximize their time. Uh, we'll, because we'll go ahead, Mark, and we'll work on those questions. Okay. And we'll get it done and we'll get something out to you next week electronically. Great. As we always do. Thank you very much. Not a problem. I would ask also that, uh, in particular, I think probably Walter and Kara, I would appreciate if they would come to some of these. Uh, meetings that we do with different boards just to make sure that they see how we're progressing what we're doing to allay some of the fears they had that we're going to try to impose um, prior will some certain numbers or not uh, if you ever came to some of our meetings in which we actually had votes you would see that uh, people who were, had very stubborn ideas they could be stubborn but the answer was the majority rules and that was quite evident in a lot of things and if you look at our final vote it was six two zero I can attest to the fact that some of the stubborn people changed their minds along the way, too. Oh, well, thank you, you Dr. Jones. Yeah. If I Mrs. may, one more question. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Board of Selectmen, um, would, it, would it be, um, I mean, because I was saying, like, grab these ones and see if you could meet. Do you want to come back in front of us and do it here? Would you rather meet, like, Maybe you pick members and see if they can contact each one of us to get feedback. Uh, I don't you know. You really need to decide by the board how you want to do this, whether you want to do this as a workshop meeting separate, what, how you want 